court and lane to lane under the lights or under the sun. No one delivers Division II sports like NCAA.com. The center of D2 is inside the NCAA.com hub with exclusive highlights of every sport and live broadcasts of every Division II championship found nowhere else. Make NCAA.com yours. The home of Division II college sports. Welcome to the Rick Case Arena. Russ Davenport here with you. Well, we're into the second half of the Sunshine State Conference women's basketball season. Great matchup here between two teams that met in their first Nova Southeastern Mac Conference game of the season. Tampa against the Nova Southeastern Sharks. Tampa coming ranked 25th. We'll take you back to that November 23rd evening. Tampa got a last second double team splitting finger roll by Dari Naj to defeat the Sharks 72-70. Since then, the Sharks have had a little run of losses, a couple of runs of wins, and now find themselves in the top half of the Sunshine State Conference standings. We'll look to continue that run, perhaps extending that win streak to five games today, although the Tampa Spartans are a formidable opponent, having won 11 in a row themselves. Let's take a closer look at this matchup. Tampa come in at 13-3, as you can see there, 10-0 in the Sunshine State Conference. They've had a couple of scares other than that almost lost to Nova. They had an overtime win over St. Leo. A couple of other close victories. Sharks come in again, 10 and 7. 6 and 4 in that Sunshine State Conference. The top five are sort of separating themselves a little bit from the rest of the pack in the Sunshine State Conference standings. You've got Tampa at 10, and we'll look at the standings in a little bit. Um, Nova coming off a nice win on Wednesday against Barry, 70 66. Powered by that late three by Maria Bardiva, who's having herself quite a month of January. We'll get to her in a little bit. Again, there you can see they've won four in a row and a 7 to 1. At home, at the Rick Case Arena, that lone loss, a conference defeat to Eckerd. Tampa, as I said, I mentioned earlier, come into this one ranked 25th. Let's take a look at the statistics between these two teams. Nova Southeastern, that's their overall points per game. They actually lead the Sunshine State Conference in conference games with points per game. But obviously, you can see there on the defensive side of things, Tampa. One of the best defenses in the nation, only 58, 4.8 points allowed a game. Field goal percentage is not too far apart. Rebounds very tight. Three-point field goals, Tampa won't shoot too many of those. They rank fourth, fourth lowest in the nation in three-point field goals attempted. And turnovers, that could be the difference tonight. Nova will need to hold on to the ball if they're going to remain competitive in this one. Let's take a look at the Sunshine State Conference standings coming into today. Everybody now with 10 games played, so the halfway point exactly. You see Tampa there at 10-0. Eckerd, 8-2. Obviously one of those losses to Tampa, one of those eight victories over Nova here. Followed by Florida Southern Lynn. And then Nova Southeast and the bottom six are a little adrift. Obviously today's game is the first of three in the South Florida Showdown. After this we'll obviously have the Nova men hosting Tampa. 
followed by that, we'll have a nice little high school matchup with the University School, one of the best high school teams in Florida, hosting Riverdale, just across the just across the state in Fort Myers. Here's our starting lineup for Tampa, their usual. And everybody's been healthy. They, all the five of these players have started their games. Julia Ingram, Chris Nelson, Dari Naj, Shayla Wright Ford, and Malia Sullivan. Those last three are the ones you got to worry about if you're a Sharks fan. Dari Naj averaging 15.9 points a game. With Shayla Wright pondered 15 points a game. And Malia Sullivan, 12 points a game. Those are the three we got to watch out for. Nagi had 17 and 20 against the Sharks this season. So now to take a look at your Sharks starting lineup. A little few good changes here. Isabel, Isabel Levine in the middle there gets her first start since December 7th against St. Leo when she actually got injured in that match and missed a few games after that. And Sarah Kelly gets her second straight start. She started a little bit earlier in the non-conference games but is forced away into this lineup with her stellar level of play over the last month. Speaking of stellar play over the last month, Maria Bardiva comes in shooting 61.2% over the last eight games. Obviously, finishing that lineup with Jordan Tully and Haley Conley, the two leading scorers. For the Sharks, we get ready here for our national anthem from Davey. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please stand and remain standing. Please remain standing until we have a as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Performed today by freshman marine biology major Dalton Shaw. Sarah Kelly! 
Your Sharks looking for a big win to start their second half of conference play here. Injury situation hasn't changed for Leanne Freeland Curry's ladies. Claire McMahon, who was one of the leading rebounders in the Sunshine State Conference when she got injured, remains out with that foot problem, still wearing a boot, so she looks to be at least weeks away. Uh, Julia Kellner, the newcomer, also remains out. From transfer from Bryant University. She's only played the one game. The Skylar Sierra that came back last game only played five minutes. So we'll see if she can increase that a little tonight as she recovers from a back injury. Everybody else remains relatively healthy. Maria Bardiva showing no signs of that knee injury. She was coming up earlier this season. We saw her stumble a little bit a couple of games ago. Left for a few minutes, but that was a comfortable win for the Sharks. I think that was against Palm Beach Atlantic, and she's obviously continued her hot shooting since then. Here comes Chris Nelson running the point for Tampa, the 5'4 senior guard out of Augusta College. Transfer from Temple College, not Temple University. Here she is from the right side, and that first three-pointer is good by Chris Nelson. The average is only 8.7 points a game. Thirty-seven point two percent shooter from downtown, Chris Nelson. Here come the Sharks looking to and so back here, Maria Bardiva, nice move past Naj, the left-hander from the Russian, no good, but she gets her own rebound, puts it back up with the left hand. And Maria Bardiva, has been playing very well of late, again had that monster three late against Barry on Wednesday, I think it was, she only had five three-point attempts coming into that game. It was a huge road win for the Sharks, as Nelson goes right by Isabel Levine for her fourth and fifth point already. Lane Freeland Curry has mentioned to us Earlier in the season, that her team can struggle sometimes to guard quick players off the dribble. But they need that help on defense. There wasn't any help there for Isabel Levine. That'll be something to keep an eye on. His by Diva now. Back in Naj. Looking for help from Connolly, but good defense there by Ingram. But Maria Pardiva takes things into her own hands. Off to a fast start here. Four points for the Russian in just a minute and a half. It's the Nelson versus Bardiva show here early. It's Naj again looking to set a pick to free up. Nelson, here is Naj now, her jumper's off, but rebound there by Wright Ponder. Wright Ponder is the leading scorer. Excuse me, second leading scorer behind Naj. In conference play with 15. Sorry, Naj 15.9 per game. The Shayla 15.0. Naj 17 points a game in conference. So those are the two we're really gonna have to keep an eye on if the Sharks are gonna win this one. Coach Jesse has clearly seen something that she thinks Nelson, he, he thinks Nelson can take. Levine off the dribble. This Malia Sullivan, averaged the third leading scorer for Tampa, gets her account open here. Tampa off to a hot shooting start. Back to Bardiva again. They're not going to help her Naj out at all. Bardiva backs down Naj. Two Europeans going out at Levine for three. Bounces twice off the rim and away. Naj with the rebound. Sharks, excuse me, Spartans with the early 7 4 lead. Tampa 3 or 4 from the floor early. His right ponder looking to take Bardiva. Does with the left hand. Nice move there by the. Ponder is a junior, six foot forward. Transfer from the University of South Dakota. This is Malia Sullivan. She's a sophomore from Parto Florida, Winter Haven High School. The Spartans here with a 9 4 lead. Hot shooting start for the ladies in black and red. 
Nice position down low by right partner. That's going to force a timeout. From Leanne Freeland Curry as the Sharks are having all kinds of trouble keeping tabs on the big one two combination down low of right ponder and Sullivan early in this one. It'll be a 30 second timeout, I think. I'll be taking a full timeout, perhaps. I think we take a full timeout. We'll take a quick commercial on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. A race for the record sale. You save even more. This week at Rick Case, we're out to break the record, and we'll do whatever it takes to stay number one. Get our guaranteed lowest price on every new vehicle, or get your money back. Save up to $10,000. And only Rick Case doubles your nationwide factory warranty up to 20 years. We're racing for the record, and you're the winner. This week at every Rick Case dealership on I-75, 441, and on Sunrise at the Sawgrass. Or save time by online at rickcase.com. Ross Devenport back here with you from the Rick Case Arena in Davie, Florida. Tampa Spartans off to a hot start. Up 11-4 early on the Sharks here. Again, stick around for the rest of the games in the South Florida showdown. Second matchup between the NSU men and the Tampa men will obviously be here on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. And you can then head down if you're in the area to the arena for the high school matchup between U School and Riverdale boys later. That'll be at 6 o'clock or so, depending on how these first two games go. So we'll see if this timeout sorted out the Sharks' defensive issues. Tampa going with a box and one defense here. Actually, now going man to man. It's far even now. 12 remaining on the shot clock. Looks inside for Tully's first touch of the ball tonight. Oh, right handed layup she really should have made is long. Rebound by Sullivan. Sharks in man to man. Naj and right ponder at the post. They've got three big bodies, this Tampa team, in the shape of Naj, Sullivan, and right ponder. Nice move there by Dari Naj. Taking advantage of this three guard lineup, perhaps, that Nova's got at the moment. Unfortunately, the Sharks really don't have a third forward with the height of Bardiva or Tully as Levine's three-pointer is off the left side and will be a Tampa ball. With both Kellner and McMahon injured, it leaves the Sharks very thin in the height department at the forward position. Here's Nelson now. And the turnover there, Levine with the steal. Two on two here, Levine, nice pass to Conley, but her layup is missed, and we'll, we'll tell you the scratch crumbling for the rebound, but Nelson comes away with it. Missed opportunity there for the Sharks. Here comes Sullivan now. Nice move inside to right ponder. Left handed layup is good. Good contingent from Tampa behind us tonight. The boys were already here watching. The men, I should say. 15 4. 11 point lead now for the Spartans. Spardiva looks inside for Tully. Right ponder got a hand in it, but the Sharks remain in possession. Ten remaining on the shot clock. Bardiva now taking Naj to the hole. Nice right handed move, but layup's no good. Tully with half a rebound. Naj keeps it in and tips it to Ingram. Tampa, as you can see, they're on a 10 0 run now here midway through the first quarter. They've made five of their last five field goals. Meanwhile, the Sharks are 0 for their last six. Here's Naj now with a long two. That's good for. From the 6'2 junior forward from Pesh Hungary, transfer from USF. So just around the corner, didn't go too far to transfer it. It's Conley now. The so Sharks looking to stem this flow. Kelly from up top, that three is good. And that'll get the Sharks going here. Sarah Kelly seeing a lot more minutes of late. Mostly with Skylar Osceola out, but she's with Osceola back. Kelly's remained in the starting lineup. She's averaged 31.7 minutes over her last three. It's Naj now with a nice layout past Tully. Max was giving me a strange look. It's minutes, not points. <laughs> Here's Isabel now. Isabel Levine, that is, getting her another start. Back to her healthiness. She was starting early this year before she got injured, as we said. Tully with a nice move and one. Count the bucket. Nice move around LaShayla Wright Ponder. Jordan Tully will go to the line. 
Sharks looking to peg this lead back in. Nice look at it. Nice pivot. My partner put her hands up, of course. Saying it wasn't me, but it was definitely a foul. That too much contact on the Canadian. Looking for her ninth 20-point game of the season is Jordan Tully. He's McKenna Draven. He's on the court for the first time this afternoon. She'll get into that guard spot alongside Jennifer Rodriguez off the bench. Eva Eilich also in, so by Diva and Kelly, any starters in for the Sharks at the moment. Nice defense there by Kelly. It's a quick move by Malia Sullivan. Shot over the line. Malia Sullivan had 22 points against Pittsburgh State back on December 19th. She made 10 of 11 field goals in that game. Her first free throw is good. She comes into this one third in Sunshine State. Players in conference games and field goal percentage. The second one rattles out. McKenna Dravik had the rebound, but bounced off her head, unfortunately. And will remain Spartans ball. As Aaliyah Abney enters, the 5'9 redshirt junior guard. Missed all last season due to injury. Averaging 5.6 points and two rebounds a game. Aaliyah Abney. Moved by Nah, showing some slick dribbling skills. Yeah. Lovely move there. It's the Spartans a 22 10 lead now as we wind down under three minutes remaining in this first quarter. Sharks have had a few slow starts this season. They tend to get going either in the second quarter or late on. Nice move there by Bardiva around Naj. Bardiva now with six points on the afternoon. Again, don't expect these Spartans to shoot too many threes. They're bottom four in the nation in three-pointers attempted. Something I'm sure the Sharks are plenty aware of. Eight left on the shot clock now. Here's Sullivan. Going to take Drabik to the hole. Nice pass to the corner to Nelson. Two for two. From downtown tonight now is Chris Nelson. Four-year starter for the Spartans. I, Eva Eilich from downtown. That, uh, Sharks, he might need her to get going. She's had a bit of a slow scoring stretch the last few games, has Eva Eilich. Only seven points total over her last four games, so a good early bucket for her there. We're going to have a blocking foul under the basket here by Bardivo. So Sharks suddenly catching fire, but the, bucket, the Spartans have made nine of their last nine. Here's another look at that move by a little spin. Oh, like now she faked out Bardiva, completely did Naj. Let's take a look at Bardiva. Came back down the other end. These two are having a nice little battle, the two Europeans. Let's look at Bardiva's move. Not quite the same, but a nice scoop around. Left-handed layup. It's going to be a battle to watch all afternoon. Spartans are shooting 91.7% so far in this game. Hard to believe they're going to keep, keep that up. 11 to 12 from the floor. Here's a jumper. It almost rolls off, but as, the, as this first quarter is gone, everything is dropping for the Spartans. Right ponder there with the bucket. 27-15 now. No need for Leanne Freeland Curry to get too overly concerned yet. It's unlikely that the visiting team is going to keep this kind of shooting up. Here's Drabik now. Right side, Eilish. Inside the Tully. Rodriguez now, trying to take Nelson to the hole and does. Right hand layup's good by Jennifer, Jennifer Rodriguez. Rodriguez. That two points is about her average on the season. So good to see her also getting in this early scoring action here. Abney now. Osceola also in again. Good defense there by Osceola. We're gonna have a travel on Aaliyah Abney caused by the good defense there by Osceola. We're gonna have a timeout here, I think, no? Yeah, look, at that, look, at, look at that nice layout by Jennifer Rodriguez. Good quickness to the hole. So we have 30 seconds remaining 
in this first quarter, in which the Spartans are shooting 92.3%, but the Sharks are hanging around here, only down 10. Bit of a loose layup attempt there by Tully, more of a short, short jumper. Definitely her trademark, it was a little out of control perhaps. And Spartans will get the last shot here. 27-17 to the visitors. Here's Sullivan. Good help, defensive help by Tully, that forced the travel. By Malia Sullivan, that's exactly what Coach Freelancar is looking for. The help defense came over there from Tully and forced the travel. So seven seconds left here, what will Haley Connolly do? She keep it herself or perhaps hand it off? Puts up a wild shot from the free throw line, gets her own rebound, but you can't get the shot off in time. And after one, Spartans 27, Sharks 17. We're back here with you on the Sunshine State Conference after this break. NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. What have we here? Another random school of fish. Watch as they mimic each other's every move. Even their own mothers can't tell these fish apart. In this school, there is no room for individualism. These fish live in fear. Devonport back here with you from the Rick Case Arena. Sharks down 10 after one. Tampa Spartans shooting 92.3% in the first quarter. A lot of them have been contested shots, but Nova's defense perhaps needs to pick up the pace a little bit and struggle in that department. Nice look inside there from Arrigas to Tully, though. Gets the offense kick in here. 19 points now for the Sharks. Shooting 47% themselves. Yeah, Spartans 12 of 13 from the floor in that first quarter. He's Julia Ingram now, guarded by Eve Eilich. She was dealing with a bit of sickness the last couple of weeks. Looks to be feeling a little better today. Getting some good early minutes in here. With right ponder now. Nice block by Tully, I thought, but official underneath says not so fast. It's gonna be a foul on Tully, who leads. She's second in the Sunshine State Conference in blocks. Coach Freeland Curry is going to have a word with the official that made the call there. Right ponder goes to the line. 72.2% free throw shooter coming into this one. Second one bounces away, but Ingram with a rebound. Things just aren't going the Sharks' way now in this first half. There is almost every shot falling for the Spartans or Rebounds just not bouncing their way. They show some grit here early on. Not getting too disheartened with the start. Nice pass there by Sullivan to Wright Ponder. And it's going to be a Sharks ball. Wright Ponder wanted the charge. I mean, excuse me, Freeland Curry wanted the charge. I'm getting my double barreled names mixed up in here. Coach Leanne is upset at something. Looking for the charge. Didn't get it, but she gets the ball anyway. And the Sharks looking to cut into this nine point lead now. Rodriguez had, had Tully inside but didn't find her. Eilish for three. That one never really looked like it had a chance. Came off her hand kind of funny with the sideways spin. It's Nash, right side. Thinks about the long jump. It comes in for a shorter one. She's got great shooting form, does Dari Nash. Average only 14.2 last season, but bumped that up this year as Rodriguez is passed. Catelli is loose. She had 20 points and 16 rebounds against Florida Tech a couple weeks ago. That last rebound by the Sharks, amazingly, it was their first defensive rebound of the afternoon. Shows you how hot these Spartans have come out here. This is a mismatch here with Naj over Rodriguez. That's 
that's all day for Dari Naj. Not the kind of matchup Coach Freeland Curry wants to see. She tells Jennifer Rodriguez to pick up the pace. Getting the ball over half court. Comes Eilish now. Top to Rodriguez. Thought about the three. Still looks inside for Bardiva. Nice move around right ponder. Bardiva has just been in the zone. These last few games, she gets that ball down low and just seems to have the confidence that she's going to score almost every time. Now four of six in this one already. Nelson finds Naj underneath. Another mismatch on Conley this time. And Naj with the easy layup. She's a tough guard, Dari Naj. She's 6'2", and she's all of it. But she can handle, she can shoot. One of the best players in the Sunshine State Conference, especially on the all-around basis. Here's Haley Conley now. Takes Ingram to the hole and one. Good move there by Haley Conley. Off the dribble, got the foul. And the bucket. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, Ingram was just beaten to the bucket. Haley Conley here. Cut the lead to eight once again. Sharks have yet to lead this evening. Largest lead for Tampa so far is 13. The Sharks haven't been to get out of hand just yet. They're scoring some points. Again, Tampa came into this one. With some serious defensive, a serious defensive resume. And the Sharks already have 23 points. As the Spartans just can't miss. They say the right ponder this time from three. That's going to be a timeout. That was only her second three-point attempt of the season Time for the Shayla Pondo. Here, a quick commercial here on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. like we'd like to be treated has always been our guiding principle. The Courtyard Marriott in Plantation is proud to be a sponsor in the official hotel of NSU Athletics. The Courtyard Marriott Plantation is located just three miles from campus, right next to the Westfield Browd Shopping Mall. For more information on the Special Athletic Department discount rate you may qualify for, visit plantationcourtyard.com or call 954-475-11. Zero, zero. Be sure to tell them you're a Shark fan to receive your NSU discount as we've got some fraternity and sorority battles going on the court. little dance battle. we got some work to do. They're going to catch up with the Sharkettes talent-wise, but nice little performance there. Sharks find themselves down 12 here. Nagy 6 of 8 from the floor so far. Right ponder, it's 5 of 5, so 24 points already for those two combined. Sharks going to have to try and figure something out to contain those two. So Haley Conley up top. Three-pointer bounces away right side. Naj with the rebound. Nelson now loves it inside to Naj. Huge mismatch on Levine, but Levine gets her hand in there and steals it away. Good work by the little point guard there. Didn't let Naj get that ball up above her which would have been game over if she had done. Here's Conley now. Bardiva. That one's knocked away by Sullivan. Short ball. Spartans shooting 88.2%. They've only missed two field goals so far. 15 of 17. That's resulted in a 12-point lead. Conley now. Ten left on the shot clock. It's Kelly. Looks inside for Bardiva. She's a little far out. See what she can do from here, the Russian. It's a nice little right-handed floater. Nice move there over right partner. Gets Bardiva two ten points already. And only average is 8.1. Bardiva's really stepped up her game. As I said in this last month or so. Finally getting back healthy after that knee injury. Here's Naj now. Looking for the lob pass to right Ponder, but she wasn't on the same page. As 
Conley looks for Kelly. But that one goes out of bounds. So Sharks down 10, 35-25. Again, when you consider the Spartans are shooting over 88%, it's not all that bad of a deficit here. Amazingly, Dari Naj is the only one not to have, any, only Tampa Spartan to have missed a field goal. She's missed the only two they've missed. Conley now looks for Tully, who wasn't ready. She was looking to set, she was telling her teammate that I was looking to set the screen. That's why Tully wasn't ready for it. It's a little bit sloppy there. But only the second turnover of the afternoon for the Sharks. That's a good positive. If they can keep that in single digits, they'll be in with a chance here, you'd think, as long as the Spartans cool down at some point. And Sullivan now, right side, looking to take Osceola, and they're going to say she carried. Meanwhile, that's the seventh turnover for the, Buc for the Spartans. Part of the reason this game is still only a 10 point game. Here's Levine. Bardiva now looking to take Nas again. <laughs> Maria Bardiva is just trying to keep pace with the Spartans here. We're going to have a timeout. Perhaps by coach. No, we're going to have an official's timeout. As Dari Naj looks like she took one to the face, perhaps. Let's see where it happened on that one. She's holding her nose, though. Tampa have made three of the last three field goals, but have also have three turnovers in this last couple minutes. Sharks find themselves down eight now. Bardiva with 12 and six of eight shooting. This is the Maria Bardiva we saw earlier in her Sharks career. Full of confidence in the corner. Naj may have traveled, but got away with it in air ball. Here comes Levine. Down the court in a hurry. Conley, nice screen set by Osceola. Ball is a little off left side, though. Tully gets screened out and can't get the rebound. To Maria Bardiva's freshman year. She was the SSC freshman of the year. Averaged 14.6 points a game. You know what? She's capable of it. We're really seeing it here in the first half of this Sunshine State Conference season. Nice move there by Malia Sullivan. Malia Sullivan. Throwing a rebound. Puts it back up. Oh, forget Maria Bardiva if you were around three years ago. Maria Bardiva was an excellent freshman. Turns it over there, almost turns it over. It comes off Tully's hands, but then off a Tampa hand and out of play. As Rodriguez replaces Haley Conley for a minute. Yeah, she had 18 points, career high 18 points back then as a freshman. So Nelson gets a tip on it, but Levine will come back to recover. Sharks, much more of a forward-oriented offense this season after losing. Speaking of forward, up, <laughs> I take that back. Scott Osceola showing we do still have some point guards that can score. Lovely move by the red shirt sophomore. You saw the expression on Scott Osceola's face. She was fired up about that bucket. See if she can make it a three-point play. She does. No, nope, we're going to have a lane violation. No basket lane violation. I think perhaps on Maria Baidiva. She goes to give Skyler Osceola the low five and apologize for that. Still Sharks within eight now. Spartans have slowed down a little bit in this quarter, only shooting 57.1%. Only attempted seven field goals in this quarter. They attempted 20 in the first. Here's Naj now with good position down low on Tully. Levine comes over to help. Naj spins it out to Ingram. Now back to Naj, one-on-one -on -one with Tully, baseline. Naj goes to her left. Nice, that was almost the same move that she won the game against back in November. She split a double team that time. That was right after Haley Conley had tied things up with a three with 6.8 seconds left before Naj got the winner. Here's Tully now inside, the position on Naj. Her right-handed layup's good. Sharks hanging around, hanging around here. Again, seven and one at home coming into this one. They do have four of their next six games at home. Finish, do finish with three of their final four on the road. 
Started off with a real strong schedule. Things have got a little easier here in the second quarter of the SSC season. There's Ingram for three. Of course that one goes. <laughs> four of four now from downtown. Again, I mentioned that they don't shoot many threes. They're a decent three-point shooting team when they do take them. The Spartans. Tally up top here. Covered by Terry Battle. We're seeing her for the first time this afternoon. The red shirt, excuse me, the junior center out of Chicago, Illinois. From Sullivan now. Pretty jumper over Osceola, but doesn't go. Osceola showing great hustle to try and get to that one. It does come off her, though. Mm, they're going to say a shark ball, perhaps? No, it's surely going to stay with it. Oh, Spartan. Spart My PA announcer's mic is so loud. Spartan and shark sound the same. So I apologize for that one. It will stay with the Spartans. I thought it would. Being bounded here. Reset up top here with Nelson. Spartans up 42 31. Minute 46 remaining. That was too easy there for Naj. Got the mismatch she wanted with Eilish. Good luck on Sullivan. Forty-four, thirty-one. now matches the largest lead of the afternoon for the Spartans, 13. Haley Conley prepares to come back in. As Eilish now looking inside for Tully, finds her, the Canadian, with that trademark. Lay in, use your body, give yourself some space, and flip it up with either the right hand or the left hand. Nice lay up there for Tully. Gets her to nine points. Side for battle, but Bardiva is playing good defense on her. As Naj goes right around Tully, doesn't get any help because the Canadian. And Naj now with 16, 18 points on 9 of 12 shooting. Six boards already for Naj, so all the rest of her teammates are also shooting lights out. Naj is doing her usual thing. It's Kelly from the corner, swings it out to Rodriguez. 37 seconds left on the game, 10 seconds on the shot. Shot clock is Tully now. Working down left side on battle. Should get the foul there. Spartan foul, charge to number 25. Ah, it's going to be underneath though. No shooting foul for Tully. Rodriguez with the inbounds. Finds Eilish. Back to Rodriguez in the corner. Inside the bar deep. Working on battle. A spin move, left hand layup, it's off the back of the rim and away. And Naj with her seventh rebound. The Spartans don't have a big rotation. They've only used seven players in this first half. Meanwhile, the Sharks have used nine. It's Naj with a little jumper from the elbow. Rebound by Diva. Three pointer at the buzzer. Conley's no good. The Sharks will go to the half. Down 46 to 33. Spartans shoot 76.9% in the first half. I have to think that'll be the message Leanne Freeland Curry will give her a team at the half. Look, there's no way they're going to continue shooting this hot in the second half. Just keep at it. See if the Sharks can dig into this lead a little bit. In the third quarter, we're watching Sunshine State Conference basketball on Sunshine State Conference.
During our race for the record sale, you save even more. This week at Rick Case, we're out to break the record and we'll do whatever it takes to stay number one. Get our guaranteed lowest price on every new vehicle or get your money back. Save up to $10,000. And only Rick Case doubles your nationwide factory warranty up to 20 years. We're racing for the record and you're the winner. This week at every Rick Case dealership on I-75, 441, and on Sunrise at the Sawgrass. Or save time by online at rickcase.com. like we'd like to be treated has always been our guiding principle. Geico sequels. Classic Geico heroes starring in six new commercials with jaw-dropping savings. Uh, which way do I go? I don't know. I'm voting for our sequels. Geico sequels. Vote and enter to win today. From court to court and lane to lane under the lights or under the sun. No one delivers Division II sports like NCAA.com. The center of D2 is inside the NCAA.com hub with exclusive highlights of every sport and live broadcasts of every Division II championship found nowhere else. Make NCAA.com yours. The home of Division II college sports. The American dream to me as an immigrant means having the opportunities that my parents didn't have. Being the first one in my family to graduate, it meant everything my parents sacrificed for me to get to this point. It was paying off. Estoy muy orgulloso de Michael por haberse graduado de colegio. My path to a college degree would have been completely different had I not had a scholarship. It would just relieve a lot of the financial burden. We can stop to make sure someone is okay. Get in the way and disrupt the situation. Notify an authority. Or walk them home safely. We can change the language around rape. We can make campuses safer for our teammates, our friends, and our classmates. We cannot be bystanders. Taking action isn't always easy, but it's on, on us, us to intervene. Because we can. Learn more and take the pledge at itsonus.org.
you can get an MBA, or you can learn to master more than business. You can become a teacher, or an inspiration to future generations. And you can study medicine, or you can prepare to revolutionize it. With programs that offer a fast track to graduation, vast industry and alumni connections, and affordable tuition, NSU Sharks will always have the edge. Nova Southeastern University. Prepare to dominate. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Back here with you from scenic Davy, Florida. Sharks find themselves down 13 at the half to number 25, Tampa Spartans. Take a look how that's come about. You'll see there right at the top. Tampa shooting 77% from the floor, 20 of 26. Sharks not shooting too badly themselves at 52%, 15 of 29. Not many, not many free throws in that first half, just six total. Three pointers. Sharks struggling a little bit there, two for eight. Rebounds. Tampa has as many offensive rebounds as the Sharks do total rebounds. Five and five apiece. Second chance points, eight to two. Points in the break pretty even. Bardiva and Tully off to a good start in that first half. Let's take a look at the full box score. Tell the true story of that four half. Dori Naj, as expected, leading the way for the Spartans. Nine of 13 from the floor, 18 points. It's already two points over her season average. And right ponder just behind her with 12. For the Sharks, Maria Bardiva leading the way with 12 points. Six and nine from the floor, she continues her red hot shooting again. Came into this game shooting 6.1. Oh, she, 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 61% over the last eight games. We'll take a quick commercial here and be back with you with some first half highlights. You can get an MBA, or you can learn to master more than business. You can become a teacher, or an inspiration to future generations. And you can study medicine, or you can prepare to revolutionize it. With programs that offer a fast track to graduation, vast industry and alumni connections, and affordable tuition, NSU Sharks will always have the edge. Nova Southeastern University, prepare to dominate. Some first half highlights. Sharks down 13 at the half. Spartans just red hot shooting from the floor. A nice layup. Well, excuse me, a nice offensive rebound and layup from Maria Bardiva. 12 points in the first half. There's Sarah Kelly's only bucket. Jordan Tully, 4 or 7 from the floor in that first half. There's Jennifer Rodriguez with a rare bucket from the Miami native. Good to see her chipping in. Sharks will need more of that in the second half. They're going to try and 
cut this deficit from the current 13. Which again is the largest lead that the Spartans have had tonight. That lady with the ball there, Dari Naj, is the main reason. The Sharks are down 13 here. Nelson looking for the screen from right ponder. Here's right ponder up top now. Bardiva trying to keep up with Naj. Ingram swings it over to Nelson. And she turns it over. Throws the ball right to Bardiva. And the Spartans with 20 of 26 in that first half. They do have eight turnovers now, though. The Sharks only have two. So it's a real positive to build on there. We'll see if they can keep that play up. Kelly looks inside for Tully. Finds her. Backs down right ponder. Nice move. Right handed layups in. Good start to the third quarter for the Sharks. Cuts the lead to 11. Tom Jesse on the bench there in his red sleeveless sweater. 18th season with Tampa. He's pretty much won right about two thirds of his games. Been to nine NCAA tournaments in the last 13 seasons. Again, the Spartans coming to this one winning 11 in a row. The last loss was by 15 to Bellamine on November 30th. Bardiva with another steal. Reaches in front of right ponder and pokes that one away. Giselle Levine here, just to, just to start the second half these Sharks need. Here. Bucket here would be nice. Bardiva thought about the three just like Wednesday night. Instead finds Tully, tries to shoot over Naj, but jumper is short off the front of the rim and Naj comes away with it. Spartans do have nine new players this season. Which makes this start even more incredible. Another steal, third of this half already. This time by Levine. In the earlier matchup, not Naj did have 23, as well as right ponder. His by Diva now. A little off balance there. Shot it like she was a little closer and found herself a good eight, six to eight feet away from the basket. His Naj goes right around Kelly, but misses the layup. Rebounder, rebound by right ponder, excuse me, by Sullivan. Back to Naj. Tully gets the call for the foul, I think. And the, Naj will have a chance to turn this into a three-point play as she goes over 20 for the afternoon. Foul charge to the Sharks number one, Sarah Kelly. Now the foul is on Kelly that time. Could have gone to either her or Tully. Dari Naj is just a complete handful for any Sunshine State Conference defender. Free throw is up and in. Back in the game for your Sharks number 11, Skylar Asiola. Shouldn't be much of a shock, actually. Tampa came into this game with three of the top four players in the Sunshine State Conference field goal percentage battle. Behind, all of them behind Maria Bardiva, though. Right, Padre Sullivan and Naj came into this one combining for 43.7 points a game. They're already at 48 in this one. We have 10 turnovers now. Here comes Conley looking to get her afternoon sparked. So maybe that'll do it. There's only one for six before that layup. It's far too easy there for Abner. Aaliyah Abner. She had 16 points and 7 rebounds recently against Lynn did Abner, so she can catch fire when necessary. Here's Osceola now off the bench. Levine for 3. Bounces away. Rebound Sullivan. Going the other way in a hurry. 3 on 2. Finds Nelson on her left for a 3. That one, she finally misses a 3. I think that's her first miss. Yeah, she was 2 for 2 before that. Good work on the boards by Osceola forces the foul. Spartan foul, charge maker 24. And we'll go Sullivan against Sullivan. First first. Teams, first teams with only nine fouls total so far in this game, so it's been a very clean contest. It's Kelly now. It's Conley up from up top. It's the front of the rim, never had a chance that one. She almost had the steel ball went right between her arms. It was unfortunate. Nelson switches off to Ingram. Fumbled it and then put up the three. Rebound Osceola. Then as you gets to 60 tonight, it'll only be as Conley goes to the rack. 
Lays it up and in. NSU and St. Leo are the only two teams to score more than 60 points versus Tampa this season in the Sunshine State Conference play. Sharks are on their way to that, there's no doubt, but are the Spartans going to slow down here on the offensive side of things? Still shooting 71% on the game. In all four of the Sharks' losses this season in conference play have come against teams in the top four. Three of them on the road. They lost to Eckerd. After this one, Sharks will get a Wednesday off. They'll play again next Saturday at home against St. Leo, the team below them in the standings, and then we'll play another team below them in the standings next Wednesday, the February 5th, and they'll travel to Rollins, and then we'll travel to Eckerd on the 8th. And they'll play three games ahead of them in the standings at the moment. Ingram, they have an offensive foul. As guess who? Jennifer Rodriguez takes one for the team. Yeah, the Sharks will play at Eckerd, home against Lynn on the 12th, and home against Florida Southern on the 15th. There's another look at that charge taken by Jennifer Rodriguez. It's becoming a trademark of hers. So things will get a little tough in mid Feb for the Sharks. Zilich now. Rodriguez trying to set the pick, rolls off it, but can't find herself open, and that's going to be a foul on Jordan Tully. Must have been leaning in a little heavy on Naj as both went to the floor. Both appear to be okay. It's Jordan Tully's second foul. Let's take another look at that one. Watch Tully down low here. Kind of cut across and just leaned into Naj. Bit of a weak foul, but perhaps quarter on the lower leg, and that causes it to go down. It's Abney now looking to take Osceola. Step up the jumper from the free throw line. It goes up and in. Spartans now up 14. The largest lead, again, matches one from just a minute or so ago. Here's Osceola from the outside. Bounces off the back of the rim. Rebound comes to Kelly off the hand of Nelson. It's Tully now looking to take Naj again. I'm going to call that an offensive foul. Naj must have had position. Let's take another look at it. Naj did move her feet well, but was clearly moving. I didn't, I didn't think Tully dropped her shoulder that much. But we got a media timeout here. Sharks down 14 on the Sunshine State Conference. Digital Network. Looking for a roommate, he wanted someone super quiet. Yeah, and he wanted someone to help out with chores, so we got Jean-Pierre. But one thing we could both agree on was getting Geico to help with renter's insurance. He loves to vacuum. Geico sequels. Classic Geico heroes starring in six new commercials with jaw-dropping savings. Uh, which way do I go? I don't know. I'm voting for our sequels. Geico sequels. Vote and enter to win today. This is the University of Tampa. Explore your dreams. Discover your talents. Get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa. Ross Davenport back here with you on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. We've got to look at the big contingent of fraternities and sororities in the crowd tonight, this afternoon. Not enjoying the scoreboard at the moment, though, are the fraternities and sororities. Sharks down 14 with five minutes to go in the third quarter against the 25th ranked Tampa Spartans. Sharks now in the 2 3 zone. And they kind of seem to switch it up when the ball goes to the wing. Here's Osceola. Turnover by the Spartans. It's their 12th of the afternoon. That's really what's keeping this game tight. Here's Drabik now to the hole. Looking to get things sparked, but her left hand layup is short. And Sullivan with the rebound. Sharks have had periods of offensive output in this game, but just can't seem to get things going consistently as Naj with an easy layup over Osceola. 
Extends the lead now to 16, 53, 55, 39. Rodriguez, left side, looks inside for Bardiva. We haven't heard much from her of late. Making the move on Nars, right-handed jumpers off the back of the rim and away. Abney with the rebound. Bardiva slowed down a little bit after a hot start. Six of 11 now from the floor. As Nars gets some space behind Bardiva, we're going to have a foul. Perhaps on Jennifer Rodriguez. Short foul, Josh, number 23, Jennifer Rodriguez. That is her first Nas will go to the line with 23 points, 11 of 16 five. from the floor. Eight rebounds. Sharks just really haven't had an answer for her, just like they struggled to do in every meeting with the big Hungarian. First free throw is off right side. And the Sharks call timeout. Another timeout. Sharks will have a quick commercial here on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. This side on the Flyers again? Uh, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. We're going to swap over to over 75 years of savings and service. What, we're just going to swap over? Yep, pump the brakes on this, swap it over to that. What, instead of all this I've already Yeah. Geico. Geico sequels, classic Geico heroes, starring in six new commercials with jaw-dropping savings. Uh, which way do I go? I don't know. I'm voting for our sequels. Geico sequels. Vote and enter to win today. Russ Devenport back here with you at the Rick Case Arena. Shark fans, Geico is offering a special discount on car insurance to NSU alumni. Just visit geico.com slash my discount to get a free quote. I mention you're an NSU alum. You could save even more with your special discount. Contact Geico for your free quote today. It's the buzzer, it's the second buzzer for this timeout. Sharks down 55 to 239. Spartans continue to light it up from the floor, shooting 73%. It's hard to compete when the team is shooting that well. Obviously, some of it's got to do with the Sharks' defense struggling to contain Dari Naj. Done a good job. With Malia Sullivan, she came in averaging nearly 13 points a game. She's only got five. But does have six boards and six assists from Malia Sullivan as Naj goes to the line to make it 24 and does. As Lachey, the right ponder, returns. Marciola now. Sharks just finding nothing easy against the Spartans defense, just like most teams have done this season. Bardiva, 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Conley. Looking to take Nelson, perhaps find herself open for a three dozen. Tully may shoot the three. She's only got one dozen. She doesn't realize how the shot clock's winding down, but got it up apparently. I didn't think there was any chance of that. We'll take another look at that in a second. I thought Tully made the mistake by not shooting it, but took it to the hole and must have just got it off before the buzzer. It's Naj. Nelson. It's Naj. Good athletic move. Trying to get around by Diva, but goes to Nelson. Five left on the shot clock. Jumper from the free throw lines off the mark. Rebound Connolly. Take another look at that telly layup in a second. The replay seems to suggest she didn't get it off in time. Maybe that's a bit of luck that the Sharks need here. Down 15, just over two minutes to go in this third quarter. Conley almost gets it knocked away by Nelson. By Diva now inside the telly. He's got Nash draped all over her. Five left on the shot clock. Rodriguez, nice move. Get Ingram off the ground. Goes to the hole and gets the foul. Good work there by... Rodriguez. Let's take another look at that Tully layup. Keep an eye on the shot clock. No, wasn't even close. We won't discuss the officials on that one, but they missed that one. Either way, Sharks trying to fight their way back into this one, but missed free throws will not help the cause. Rodriguez's first one bounces away. Second one is good though. Yeah. 
Spartan shooting only 50% in this half. I should say after shooting something ridiculous in the first half. Sullivan now, right side, Naj. Almost traveled. Just Conley gets a hand on that one, tips it away. 13 left on the shot clock for the Spartans. Sullivan will inbound this. Keep an eye on her. See if she gets the ball back. Nope. Nelson's going to reset things here. Lobs it in. Was looking for Nash, but good work there by Rodriguez. Gets her hand in and knocks it away. Maybe this is the run the Sharks need here. A bit of luck on that no call shot clock. Conley thinks about the three, but Nelson is very quick. He's right up in her face. She knows the three point threat that Conley presents. She only managed four three-point shoot shots tonight. It's 10 left on the shot clock. Tully. Yeah. Here come the Sharks. Only down 11 now. Minute nine remaining in this third quarter. Home team trying to make things interesting here going into the fourth quarter. A stop here would help that cause. Here's Sullivan. Referee screening me a little bit. Looks inside for Naj and Rodriguez helps out and knocks it away. 14th turnover for Tampa. Only four for the Sharks. Forty. Well, I should say now 37 left in the game. In the quarter, excuse me. 17 on the shot clock. Rodriguez for three. He's never going to get over the front of the rim. We're going to say it's Spartan's ball. Naj and Bardiva reached for it. At the furthest point in the court away from us. But even must have got the final touch, and the Spartans will take the final shot of this third quarter. Up 11. Low scoring quarter for both teams. Only 12 for the Sharks here in the third. 10 for the Spartans. And Conley with a steal from off Naj. We'll have a layup over Nelson. Left hand layup's good with five seconds remaining. Sharks within single digits now. Nice finish to this third quarter as Naj chucks one up. At the buzzer, and a nice little 6 0 run. Excuse me, 8 0 run over the last three minutes against the Sharks to within nine points. It's going to make things interesting here. Going into the fourth quarter, Spartans 56, Sharks 47 on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. others like we'd like to be treated has always been our guiding principle back here with you from Davy the Sharks have fought their way back into this one an 8-0 run to close the third quarter against them within nine points 56 47 against the undefeated in conference play Spartans it goes Rodriguez goes around Ingram and then finds Naj Rodriguez traps Tully gives her a guard, a little bit of encouragement after that travel. Sullivan now. Good defense by Osceola. Nelson. Ten left on the shot clock for the Spartans. I think they might take their time in every possession now and limit the amount of chances the Sharks will have as Nash goes right around by Diva. What a move by the Hungarian. Gets her 26 points. Puts her Spartans back up 11. A 
Osceola inside to Tully. Swings it back to Connolly. And we're going to have a foul on Nelson. It's her second. Yeah, just got the shoulder into her a little bit. Spartan Did Nelson there. Haley Conley, 0 for 4 from 3 this afternoon. That hasn't helped the Sharks cause. Obviously the Spartans know what she brings. You see if she can get one off here. No, looks inside the telly. One on one with right Ponder. Swings it out to Kelly. Seven remaining on the shot clock. Conley now. Deep three from Conley off the left side. Rebound. Right Ponder. Spartans almost turned over. Ingram for three. No good Kelly with the rebound. Sharks finally with double digit rebounds. <laughs> Which is crazy to think with two minutes gone in the fourth quarter, the Sharks only got there. But again, Spartans finally under 70% shooting. Conley looks inside for Telly but overthrows her. That'll be the sixth Sharks turnover of the afternoon. So Sharks unable to continue their hot finish to the third here into the fourth. But still eight minutes to go in this one. It's not over yet. 11 points, the deficit, 58-47. Home meeting here last season, the Sharks only turned it over eight times. There's Nagy now. Spins it out to Sullivan, who travels. Just got to get that ball down a little quicker. Really is Sullivan. Again, only five points tonight for Sullivan. She's only gone three games this whole year without a double-digit points effort, so about to maybe have her a fourth. It's Kelly for three. Yep, we had a good view of that one here from the press row. Sharks now with an eight. Is it going to be Sarah Kelly that steps up here late? Ingram looks inside for Naj. Going to have a kickball on somebody. I didn't see it hit a foot, but the referee closest to us called it. Shot clock reset to 20 seconds. Taking a look. Back in the game for your Sharks. Let's see if you can see. There's the Kelly three. The second three of the afternoon for Sarah Kelly. Came in only averaging 2.5 points a game on the season. Nice now. Looks inside for right ponder and she turns it over off her leg. Good defense once again by Skylar Osceola. Really brings the intensity on that defensive end. Does the local product out of American Heritage Plantation. Comes Isabel Levine now. She's due for a bucket over three this afternoon, Levine. The first start in a while, here's Kelly. It's inside for Bardiva. Goes the Russian. Right handed effort is short. Good defense that time by Wright Ponder. Forced Bardiva away from the basket. Here's right, Ponder made a three earlier, and now puts up a second one. That bounces off, rebound Levine. It's only the second three she'd attempted earlier in the game. As Coach Freeland Curry screaming some instructions, Sarah Kelly for three again! Yeah! Sarah Kelly, that's going to force a timeout from the Spartans. Sharks now within five, 58-53. Another run, they go off to a little bit of a slow start in this quarter, but Spartans only have two points in the first three and a half minutes. Take a quick commercial here on the Sunshine State Conference Digital Network. From court to court and lane to lane under the lights or under the sun. No one delivers Division II sports like NCAA.com. The center of D2 is inside the NCAA.com hub with the exclusive highlights of every sport and live broadcasts of every Division II championship found nowhere else. Make NCAA.com yours. The home of Division II college sports.
Back here with you at the Rick Case Arena. Sharks have made this one a game. Down 58-53 now, thanks to a 6-0 run here in the fourth quarter. We had a nice little run to end the 8-0 run to end the third quarter. The Spartans have only scored 12 points in this second half after shooting lights out in that first half. Sharks, excuse me, Spartans have 10 turnovers in this half. Nope. Sharks would love for that to continue. But Spartans likely to wind down this shot clock on almost every possession now. But turnover there as Abney finds nobody but Bardiva. Crowd's starting to really get involved now. It's Kelly from our hot spot, but Abney's not going to let her have another one from there. Bardiva now down low on Naj. Drops her shoulder left hand. The layout's good. The Russian. Sharks on another 8 0 run here. Second one in as many quarters. Maria Bardiva gets the Sharks to within three 58 55. Coach Tom Jesse giving the referees some grief perhaps about Bardiva dropping the shoulder, but Naj has got away with a bunch of flops this evening. Potential flops. A travel there again by Sullivan. Shuffled her feet. A little 12th turnover of this half for the Spartans as Nelson implores her teammates to take care of the ball. In fact, they haven't. There's 19 turnovers on the game for the Spartans, and the Sharks are right back in this one, 58-55. Again, the meeting up, up in Tampa. Haley Conley hit a three with 6.8 seconds to tie it up before Dorinage won it in our last second little double team splitting finger roll thing. It's Kelly. Two threes have helped spark the Sharks run in the second half. Rodriguez over to Kelly. Town the shot clock. Isabel Levine up top. Pick from Tully. Rodriguez, we're going to have a foul. Ball's going to stay. It's going to be on, I think, Abney. Levine with a little jump pass to Rodriguez, who's ended up on the ground. Take another look at it. Yeah, she just kind of went right through the screen. Levine was trying to set the pick. Abney just extended her arms and pushed over the guard. On the Spartan side of things, Dory Naj does have a career high 26 points this afternoon. Eilish now. It's Tully down low with good position, but the layup's just a little strong. She was asking for the foul. Didn't get it. Here comes Sullivan. Her layup makes it a five-point lead now. Only her set, sixth and seventh point of the afternoon for Sullivan. Came in averaging 12.8. Crowd's really getting involved now. Here comes Tully, double team. Now over the double team. And that's out of primal screen. The Canadian gets the layup and the foul. Take another look at that one. She split the double team of Naj and Ingram. Off the backboard and in. It's only up to 16 points now. Excuse me, 18 points. 8 of 13 shooting. Make it 19 points. This time looks for another 20 point effort. Will be her fifth straight and ninth of the season. 60 to 58. Shocks. Outscoring the Spartans 25 to 14 in the second half. Abney. It's inside for Naj. Alex thought about helping Tully, but didn't need to. 13 in the shot clock. Here goes Naj now. Levine comes over to help Tully. Doing a much better job, the Sharks now. Limiting Naj. Eight in the shot clock. Abney. Gonna get a foul on the floor. It's on George Tully. Tully, Tully Concerning Lee, that's her fourth. Jordan Tully will have to take a break now. But we're replaced by Bardiva. As Conley also returns to help bring a little more height to this Sharks lineup. Spartans do only have two of their big forwards on the floor. And Naj and Sullivan. The right punt is not in there at the moment. Nelson now. Good speed to get around Eilish out to Ingram. Sullivan, her jumper is good, punches the air. She knows how big that bucket could be. Puts her Spartans up. 62 58, 350 remain. In this big Sunshine State Conference tilt. Again, Spartans come in winning 11, winners of 11 in a row. That's, that's got to be a flop. It's going to say. Naj was going to get away with that for a third time. 
take another look. No. I mean, Maria Bardiva barely touched her with the elbow. Naj went down like she'd been sniped from the opposite corner of the arena. Rodriguez will inbound from underneath the bucket. She's looking for Conley, instead finds Kelly in the corner again. Sarah Kelly! Carrying the Sharks team on our shoulders in this second half. That's her fourth, she's now four for four from downtown Sarah Kelly against the Sharks within one. I feel the energy in this arena has just exploded with that bucket, but here's Nelson to answer and does. Big bucket there by the senior guard from Augusta, Georgia. This team's trading big blows here in the fourth quarter. Rodriguez. Kelly again. Try to go, tries to go around Sullivan, but can. He's by Diva now. Does she have a big three in it, just like she did on Wednesday? No, we'll go up top to Rodriguez. Ten remaining on the side clock. Looking for the screen from Bardiva, doesn't get it. Rodriguez with a little shimmy. Can't make the jumper there. Great move to get open. But couldn't make the jumper. 240 remaining in this one. Spartan 65, Sharks 61. Sharks about all the way back. Have to find themselves down double digits most of this contest. Sullivan out. Oh, finds Nas wide open. Bardiva just let her get by her a little bit. Sarah Conley's, excuse me, Haley Conley's due for a three. Where is she? There she is. Instead tries to go to the hole and gets fouled there. It's on the floor though. Here's the Spartans fifth foul though, so she may go to the line. Yeah, one on one. There's a fifth, team's fifth foul of the quarter. Excuse me, for two, excuse me. Going back to my old school rule days. All my high school rules were men's college, right? Really to. So Sarah Con Haley Conley. Sarah Kelly shooting like Haley Conley at the moment. It's Conley's first one goes through. So Sh Sharks to within five, 67 62. The Sharks now in the bonus for the rest of the game. Only second one also up and in. Let's see if the Sharks defense can step up here and force a stop. Let's get it to a one score game. Nelson on Levine. Still no Maria Bardiva. Tully is back. Oh, sorry, she's going to say Tully is back in. She's in foul trouble with fours. Nelson with a jumper over Levine. No good. Rebound, Conley. Sarah Kelly. Tully with the left hander is in. Goes the Sharks within two. Assist from Sarah Kelly. He's having himself quite an afternoon. 12 points, three rebounds, three assists now. Sullivan looks inside, but no, so I thought Conley got a hand, and the referee up as close to us is going to say it came off Conley. I think that probably is the right call from our angle. Let's take another look at it if we can here before the inbounds. Yeah, I think Conley got her hand in there. Referee made the initial call. Didn't get a good look at it. We'll have a 30-second timeout here. Called by the Spartans. Let's take another look at that. Yeah. She may have come off Conley first and then Nard. It was a good look inside. We'll stay with you here. Only a 30-second timeout. The Swiffers come out to make sure the court is nice and dry in this critical Sunshine State Conference contest. Tampa would move to 11 and 0 with the win, or the Sharks would move to 7 and 4 in conference play. Around Sunshine State Conference action. Let's take a look at Sarah Kelly. Before we get to that, let's take a look at Sarah Kelly's afternoon, as I just mentioned. 12 points on the day, 4 of 4 from downtown, 3 rebounds and 3 assists. And elsewhere in Sunshine State Conference action, Eckert have put up 100. 102 to 50, they leave Palm Beach Atlantic with 3 minutes to go in that one. Meanwhile, up in Boca, Lynn and Ember Riddle are tied at 58, I mean at 78, excuse me. 4 minutes remaining in that one. Florida Tech and St. Leo in a good battle, the two 4 and 6 teams 
sitting just behind Nova Southeastern in the standings. Oh, Nelson will inbound this one. 11 seconds left on the shot clock. Swings it out to Sullivan. Nelson now with seven, looking to take Levine off the dribble. Up out top to Sullivan, three left on the shot clock. I'm not sure if she knows it. Sh puts up an off balance jumper, no good. Rebound Conley. So Sharks with a chance to tie this up as we hit the minute mark remaining in this fourth quarter. Here's Conley. Be a massive statement win for the Sharks if they can pull this one off. Conley with Ingram, not letting her get any space. Get off a shot from downtown. Nine left on the shot clock. That's Yellow out to Levine. No need to hurry just yet. Tully's going to get the foul on Naj. And Tully will go to the line. Oh, she is two for two this afternoon. Shooting 76, almost 76% on the season, Jordan Tully. I didn't need to tell you what happened. The crowd reaction will tell you. See if the second one goes in to tie it up here. It doesn't bounce off right side. Rebound, Abney. She almost stepped out of bounds. Referee didn't call it, though. Going to have a timeout. The Spartans call timeout. Spartans. Going to have a 30 second timeout. So we'll stay here with you. As we thought would happen, Tampa have come back down to earth shooting wise. 67%. On the season. So one point game. Spartans up 67 66. <laughs> yeah, one thing to pay attention is that the Sharks only have one foul in this quarter. It's Jordan Tully's afternoon. 22 points. 9 of 14 field goals. Doing her thing. Jordan Tully, that's her fifth straight 20 point outing. She's kind of done it in a quiet fashion, to be honest. Picked her spots to get her buckets. But yeah, one, only one foul for the Sharks. So. It doesn't come down to that. There is an eight second differential between the shot clock at 25 and the game clock at 33.8. So, we'll see what Coach Leanne Freeland Curry does here. It's going to have to be some stout defense, I think, and try and force Tampa into a shot they don't want to take. Again, right ponder, not in the game at the moment. Do have Sullivan and Naj out there, they're the main offensive threats. Nelson's going to run this one down. There's two options for screens. Off that screen comes Sullivan. Back to Nelson. Looking inside for Naj. Can't find it. There's five remaining on the shot clock now. Abney. Off balance shots. Exactly what the Sharks wanted. Isabel Levine with a rebound. Eight seconds left. Putting it down the court quickly. Finds Osceola. Back to Levine. A deep three. No. Bounces left side. Spartans will pull this one out. 67. 266. Let's take a look perhaps and see if there's enough. See, there may have been a foul on somebody underneath. Oh, yeah, Freeland Curry's looking concerned at the officials. Let's see what the call is. Foul's going to be on Carly, so no seconds left, so all the Spartans have to do is inbound this one. We're going to have 0.2 seconds left, and we're going to have a timeout <laughs> by the Spartans. We we're going to chat about it. Sharks didn't have any timeouts left, so Isabel Levine had to get it down the court quickly. Took a deep three. Oh, sorry, they did have one timeout left. I'm looking at the bottom of the scoreboard. <laughs> two timeout spots on the scoreboard. The Sharks did have a timeout left, so I'm not sure why they didn't take one. Levine got down the court quickly, had a good open look from way downtown, but ball bounced off and away. Looks like the Sharks will fall to the Spartans here, 67-66. Even a foul by the Sharks wouldn't help particularly. They only have two in this quarter, so. Another tough, close loss this season for the Sharks. Second one in a row to the Spartans. Obviously also had that 
Overtime loss to Eckerd and Florida Southern. Spartans remain undefeated in Sunshine State Conference play. They'll move to 12, 11 and 0. Excuse me, yeah, 11 and 0. 14 and 3 on the season. So back here in a little bit, take a look at the stats and perhaps talk to Coach Leanne Freeland Curry after this one. Spartans win 67 66. Looking for a roommate, he wanted someone super quiet. Yeah, and he wanted someone to help out with chores, so we got Jean-Pierre. But one thing we could both agree on was getting Geico to help with renter's insurance. He loves to vacuum. Geico sequels, classic Geico heroes, starring in six new commercials with jaw-dropping savings. Uh, which way do I go? I don't know. I'm voting for our sequels. Geico sequels. Vote and enter to win today. This is the University of Tampa.
explore your dreams, discover your talents, get ready to invent, innovate, and be a leader. This is the University of Tampa.